The day opened with the re-examination of Jib Fiber Managing Director Jenny Sheriff. She had the chance to express a point she'd wanted to make yesterday, that Jib Telecom, she claimed, had sought to recoup its data centre investment costs very quickly, whereas Jib Fiber would take a more balanced approach. Next up, the court heard from Jib Fiber's head of technology, Miguel Bernice. Jib Telecom counsel Robert Palmer KC questioned him extensively, with Mr. Bernice providing a comprehensive overview of Jib Fiber's network infrastructure, security provision, resilience, and company operations, both locally and abroad. After that, it was the turn of Jib Telecom's first witness. We heard from Director of Enterprise Daniel Hook, who first answered questions from Mr. Palmer on the company's infrastructure and best practices, as it seeks to highlight the differences in each provider's services and support. Jib Telecom says this is a big contribution to its pricing models. In cross-examination, Nicholas Gibson questioned Mr. Hook on the physical structure of data centres and the various options in their connectivity services. The court heard again how the online gaming industry had created huge pressure for local data centres to be created in the first place. The examination went into some detail on the nature of connectivity services, the differences between the physical provision of hardware in data centres and the software of cloud services, although, as Mr Hook explained, the lines are somewhat blurred between the definition of each. This will all ultimately help inform Judge John Restana when the time comes to rule on this case. The groundwork is being laid for the expert evidence that will be heard next week. At the end of it, Judge Restana will be expected to define parameters of the markets in which the telecoms providers operate, the factors which influence their pricing, and how local competition laws apply as a result. The trial continues tomorrow at 10am.